Hi, it's Janie, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing the Hot Lips Houlihan tag. Uh, if you don't know who Hot Lips Houlihan is, um, she was a character by the name of Margaret. I don't know what her real name is, but she was on the TV show MASH that was on back in the 70s. Um, and her nickname on the show was Hot Lips. Hot Lips Houlihan. That was her last name, Margaret Houlihan. Anyway, this is, um, I think, um, 20 questions, so uh, we will get started. Um, describe your summer and winter skin type. Um, my skin type really doesn't change with the seasons. Um, I'm just dry. Um, I guess maybe during the winter I might be a little bit more prone to dryness than in the summer. The summer I might get a little oily right in here, but really not a whole lot. Mainly I just have dry skin. What eye cream did you use last night? I used the Dr. Paracone Eye Orbital Blue Plasma Eye Cream. Um, I put that all over the tops of my eyes and all around the bottom. And then I let that sit in. And then I put, because it's more of a, um, a correcting type eye product as opposed to moisturizing so I put that on first let it sit in and then I put a moisture moisturizing type eye cream on top and the one that I used was um, I have a sample of the Laura not the Laura Mercier the Bobbi Brown um, hydrating eye cream how's the hunt going for a neck cream um, I'm not on the hunt for a neck cream um, I just feel like anything that I put on my face is good enough for my neck. I uh, put it on my face and I always bring it down onto my neck and onto my decollete. And um, I don't feel the need for a separate product that is specifically for the neck. Um, I know there are people that we argue and say that the neck skin is different, it's thinner, um, which it is, but I don't think that it needs a separate product for it. I think what you put on your face is fine. Um, skincare products that are helping you win the war of aging. Um, one of the things that I discovered this year that I've been using is this Amor Pacific Enzyme Pill. I've showed this in a haul and also in a favorites video. I love it. And I use this two or three times a week, and I think that has really made a big difference in my skin. I also this year have started using a sunscreen, not just sunscreen that is in my um, makeup or in my skincare, but an actual sunscreen. And the one that I really like is by Strivectin, and it's an SPF of 30, and it actually has um, retinol in it, and that's this right here. And I get mine off of um, QVC. <clears throat> Um, do you still use black eyeliner? Very occasionally. I, I never have been one to use a black eyeliner anyway, and so just every once in a while I might use a black eyeliner, but not very often. More often than not, I have either brown or a plum color on. Face powder, your friend or your enemy. Um, it can be both. It can be your friend if you use it properly and not, are not heavy handed with it. Or it can be your enemy, especially of uh, someone of my age who has the lines here, around here, around the lip, around here. Um, I don't care what kind of powder it is, it's going to settle. I don't care what anybody says. Um, there's always going to be the chance that it's going to settle into your lines, especially if you have deep ones like I do. So I do have to make sure that I'm um, very light-handed with it and use a very um, fluffy brush to apply it. I used to always apply my setting powder with a makeup sponge to give it a really heavy matte or all covered up, you know, heavy full face makeup. But as I've gotten older, I've had to get a little bit lighter with the face powder. Do you care if blush has sparkle? I don't really think I need anything on my face that has glitter in it. Um, something that it has a sheen that's a little bit glowy or has a, um, a glow to it, yes, that is fine because especially since I have dry skin, I'm always looking for products that's going to give me that nice, fresh, dewy look. <sighs> Any 
makeup tips, any makeup tricks to make you look more youthful. Um, less is more, number one. Um, also, I think exfoliating is very important in fighting the aging process and um, doing mask on a weekly or even daily basis and staying out of the sun. <clears throat> Those are my tricks for trying to stay youthful. Um, give your beauty sisters of a certain age three beauty tips. Basically goes back to what I just said. I think you should ex be exfoliating um, on a daily basis whether it be a manual exfoliate or a chemical. Um, I think you should be masking, whether it be a wash off, a sheet mask, or a mud mask, or a clay mask. I think everybody should be doing some type of mask at least three times a week, if not every day. And to stay out of the sun. Um, I used to be an avid sun worshiper, and I'm paying the price now, so I'm trying to not further any damage that I have already done. In Definitely do not tan anymore, don't go to tanning beds, and wear a sunscreen. Are you using any weapons of mass um, destruction on your age spots? Yes, I am using prescription Retin-A, as I do have some age spots right in here, and um, my sister and my mother both have, as the years have gone on, on this side have a age spot that's about like this big around each on their cheek like this and I am trying desperately not to acquire that by using the retina A because I can see I have three little spots that are like right here together and I, I know that's how their started was just three little ones and then they each started getting bigger and then they eventually met each other and became one so I'm trying very hard not to have that happen to me also um, <clears throat> is thinning hair an issue? No. I have lots of hair. Um, I have thick hair. And um, at one time it was falling out quite heavily. Um, this was during my last three or four years of working at Walmart. It was stress related, but since that is no longer an issue, my hair has started to thicken back up. Plus, I do take um, biotin. Um, I'm taking biotin because I'm trying to get my eyebrows to fill in. And also, um, a year ago, I started growing my hair out for length, not necessarily for um, fullness, you know, thick for volume, but just um, to make it longer and started taking the biotin then. Uh, let's see, which looks younger, your hands or your neck? I would say definitely my hands. I think my hands look a lot younger than what my neck does and that's just due from um, sun damage on my neck. <clears throat> Which bothers you more, your 11s, your crow's feet, or your lip lines? I am going to say my 11s right here. They are very, very deep. Even with my face relaxed, you can see them. Um, and how I acquired my 11s again goes back to spending hours and hours and hours in the sun sunbathing without any type of sunglasses or a hat on so I would sit out and read my book and would be like this the whole time for hours so yes that's how I have acquired all this going on um have you needed to pluck a chin hair yet no and the next question is how do you take care of your mustache I don't have one um, how many pairs of reading glasses do you own? I don't own any reading glasses, but I do have prescription glasses that I should be wearing that do have um, a bifocal in them. But you wouldn't know that they have a bifocal because they're the no-line ones. My vanity kicked in and I got the no-line bifocals. Given a choice between a neck lift, eye lift, boob lift, or a tummy tuck, which one would you choose? And um, I would say my choice is I would love to have an eye lift. I would love for my eyes to be just lifted up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. I don't want to have the surprise look 
like this going on all the time, but just, just a little bit. So yes, an eyelid. Oops. Um, are you more concerned about wrinkling or sagging? Um, I would say sagging because um, there's not anything that you can do for sagging. Wrinkles, yes, you can put creams on that, that plump your skin and give the appearance that your wrinkles are not quite as deep. Um, you're not going to get rid of them without having injections done, but you can have the appearance of a fuller look to your face on your wrinkles, but sagging, once things start going downhill, there's really not anything that you can do to have it go up without having, you know, a facelift done. Or if you have long hair, you can wear your hair up in a really tight ponytail and give yourself an instant facelift that way. But I haven't done that. Okay, number 19. Do you go sleeveless to Walmart in the summer? Okay. Um, first of all, I don't go sleeveless anywhere. Um, I have never liked my arms. During the spring and summer, I have seasonal allergies, and one of the allergies that I have is with my arms. For whatever reason, they break out with like, um, it's not KP, it's almost like acne on my arms. So, no, I don't wear sleeveless. Don't like to. And um, I was speaking of Walmart and going sleeveless at Walmart. After working for 25 years at Walmart, you would be surprised at the state of undress that people think they need to be when they go to Walmart. So I'm just going to make a public announcement right here and now. When you go to Walmart, don't wear your pajamas. Don't wear clothes that are up into your hiney. Wear shoes. Wear decent clothes that cover you and then not letting everything hang out. Please, 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 to all of us who have to look at that, please dress appropriately when you go to Walmart, please. <laughs> and then number 20, which is the last question, your best memory of your mother's beauty routine. Um, my mother always, always at night while we're watching television, she um, Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion the one that was in the green, the green colored one. I don't know what scent that was or anything. But she always, you know, would put that on her feet and on her legs every night. And then um, when I was really little, she used Olive Olay. Um, not the lotion, but the one that was in the jar that was pink. Put it all over her face. And then she switched to Mary Kay. And to this day, my mother is 75, 76, somewhere around in there, and she still uses, to this day, her Mary Kay um, night cream. And the one that she uses is the one that is, um, it's orange, and it has a really thick um, ointment type consistency to it. And she used to would add a little bit of water to it to get it out, but I think they changed that to where you don't put water to any of their products anymore. But she still uses that night cream. And that's that's all she's ever used. Um, she's never been one to wear makeup. Um, she might would wear sometimes a foundation, a blush, and a lipstick. But never anything on her eyes as far as shadows, eyeliners, mascaras, nothing like that. And, more times than not, she didn't even really wear makeup. You know, she was just all natural. She was a, um, a farmer's wife, and she worked out on the farm and on the tractor, plowing on the fields, doing whatever, and just wasn't time for makeup. But she did always take care of her skin and moisturize her skin. So anyway, that is it for um, this tag, and um, feel free to do the tag. It's really a lot of fun. And have a great day. Bye.